Today we're going to look at making some skates for moving the machinery around the shop. Got some basic flat bar, some bearings and some shafting. Now here's the drawing we're going to do. We've got, uh, we've got our 16mm flat bar, we've got two bits of 20 diameter uh, bright bar, we're going to put a little groove into the flat bar just to locate the shafts so when we weld it on we know that our shafts are going to be straight because what we don't want to do is have uh, shafts that are slightly off in any way and then that way if, if they are off the machine's going to skid off in a different direction. So we're going to put some 6204 bearings on which are 47OD, 20ID, 14 wide. Now the 20 ID fits really nice onto bright shafts so uh, that'll slide on there nicely. We're going to put some uh, M6 screws into the out, into the ends of the shafts there and we'll put some washers on the sides. Right we've got our second drawing here. We've got 20 bright, tap at M6, we're going to go about 16 deep that'll give us a good 10-12 mil of thread. Uh, they're about 94 long, we need two per unit. And this shows the, the main plate. We're going to use a bull nose cutter. They're 15 in, 16 mil plate, 100 long. Okay, so the job's changed a little bit. Uh, I didn't have enough bright bar to do the whole job. So uh, the CNC at work just happened to be running some 7-8 uh, bright bar through the machine, doing a very similar type thing. So I uh, was able to uh, tuck on the end of that job and able to get him to machine some some uh, shafts and some and some washers for me. So uh, I've got the drawing here. It's basically we've got uh, seven eight shafts in the middle, which is twenty two point two. Uh, I got him to machine them to about O two undersize there. Uh, put some M eight screws up in the ends, um, and I gave it a little bit of room on the center here for the sixty seven. And a little bit of room on the bearings, uh, just so it's not so tight and doesn't want to rub. Uh, this will work a bit better because we've actually got a little shoulder here. Uh, there's something I was thinking about um, so that the bearing doesn't actually rub up onto the side of the plate and maybe lock up and not roll. So that, that actually gives us a bit of an edge. So um, uh, so it worked out well. The, the washers they're just pretty pretty nominal. It's just some bright bar there. Uh, eight and a half drill for the eight mil bolt and about four mil wide so he, he uh, knocked off a heap of those for me uh, 16 of those and um, and the shards there and this is how they look when they fit it up we got a little bit of a little bit of room there that's okay and I'm just going to put a spring washer underneath there and and it pretty much protects the bearing as well so if it um, runs into something it's not going to spear into the side anything like that so uh, so what we'll do now is we'll move on and we'll start machining the grooves in the plates before I take my cutter out there's a little tip here one of the worst things you can do is when you're undoing your cutter uh, is to let it drop down and hit the the jaws of your vise because these are these are hardened jaws here and it'll just chip the edge of your cutter straight off and then you've either got to send it out to resharpen or try and resharpen it yourself which uh, yeah you can do but it's not as good as an original one obviously if you've got a nice tight collet that's fine but if you're using a collet that's uh, maybe the size up and you're going down to that size as soon as you as soon as you pop the uh, the lock nut here uh, it'll just fall straight down and if it's if it's lined up with your jaws there it's just gonna it's just gonna pop the edge off uh, so yeah, just a little rag. Stick a little rag under there and uh, you won't wreck your tools. We've got a bull nose cutter set up in there now. Uh, it's a 6mm bull nose cutter. We've got our plate in and we've got it pressed up onto uh, the stop, a uh, little stop here. And it's just, just a little stop that I made up. It's nothing, nothing too special. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll, we'll push it up onto the stop. We'll zero off this edge. We'll come in. And we'll do our 15 mil here. Uh, so we'll set our height for our groove, do our groove straight across there. Then that way we can spin the plate, push it up against the stop again, and we'll be in the same position. 
Okay, I've zeroed my needle on the tool. I do that by turning the machine on. It's a piece of uh, blue tack with a needle. I turn the machine on, zero it out right at the end there so it's running true. Line up the edge of the job with the needle, then I move it across 15. All right, so I'll take that off now and then uh, we'll touch on the top of the job. We'll go down half a mil and we'll see how the shaft wants to sit in that half a mil. Uh, we'll go down a mil if we need to, but um, we'll see how that runs. All right, so there's the groove there. Ended up going about a mil and a half. Uh, the shaft seems to want to sit in there fairly good now. Uh, I want to clamp it on there uh, when I weld it, or at least when I tack it, and that way they'll be parallel to each other. Um, good thing I'm doing this because the plate, you, know, you really can't sort of see it, but the plate isn't cut real square. So um, this way, uh, each each groove will be parallel to to itself uh, and not the ends of the plates. All right, there's our shards and plates there, ready to get welded. So I'll weld them tomorrow. I'll have to do it at work. My welder's not up and running at the moment. Well, here's the parts here all welded up. Um, as you can see, I welded on the inside and on the each outside. So now they're ready to, to fit up, so I'll fit them up. Like I said before, I'll put the bearing on. I'll probably put a bit of uh, anti-seize on the, on the bolt and then put these in the vise, do them up nice and tight with the washer and everything and uh, they'll be ready to go. Okay, here they are all, all done up with the bearings on. All the bearings are running nice and smooth now. Um, with them being all second-hand bearings, I had to flush out a couple of them, but most of them are running nice and smooth now, I oiled them up and everything. Uh, what I did end up doing was putting anti-seize on the shaft and inside the bearing, then knocked it on and onto the bolt as well. Uh, I just put them in the vise and did them up so they're nice and tight there. Uh, they've come out pretty good, they look, look, look pretty good, they roll, they roll pretty nice. They all roll pretty nice. Uh, also too, uh, I've got some rubber matting over there. It's an anti-vibration rubber mat. Um, I may or may not, I don't know. Depends how slippery this surface is on the machine bases, but um, I'll probably end up cutting out uh, four pieces and either gluing it on or just sitting it on there uh, and just using it there, maybe just so it doesn't skid maybe, but uh, we'll see how they go first. So uh, that's, that's my skates. I'll be making more videos in the future, so stay tuned.